What's up, guys? It's Juno. Welcome back to episode number 100 of Pokemon Showdown Live. Um, if you've stayed with me from episode 0 all the way to episode uh, 100, you are absolutely a saint. Um, you're amazing. Anyway, um, I thought I would kind of throw it back because we're on episode 102. Maybe one of my favorite teams that I've ever used. Um, besides maybe the DNC team, but that isn't very good right now. And I'm not good at OU. Um, I'm not good at UU either by any means, but we're going to be throwing it back and using one of my favorite teams that I've ever built. Um, this, uh, hyper offense team. Uh, uh yeah, it, some of you, some of you may remember it and some of you may have seen it on, seen it on Leo's channel. Um, but either way, really fun team. I'll kind of explain the sets right now and, uh, how I built it. So anyway, I started off with Custap 4 because I really wanted to use it. And uh, then I had SD Obama Snow to check mints and stuff like that. Entei is a wall breaker. Um, Dewblade is a, a fighting check and a spin blocker. Um, needed a Suicune check, so I added a healing disc, and then I needed a Scarfer, and Scarf Shadow is awesome. So, um, uh, what's he leading with right here? If he's leading with that, that's unfortunate. He leads with Weezing. Sick. Um, I can just go ahead and get a Spike up, or my Rocks up right here. Um, so I can kind of limit Abomasnow to switch ins, because that's really troubling. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get another spike up though. Um, I don't really see any reason not to. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and check something real quick. Um, Empoleon, what if it's running like 84, would be 177. Uninvested would be 156. Uh, 177, 156. Okay, I will more than likely be able to uh, do the thing versus that, so anyway. Um, as much as this thing doesn't scare me, uh, I'm just gonna go and get another spike up because you know doing that is amazing. If he missed another fire blast, would have been sick. But um, the reason that doesn't scare me at all is because I have this Pokemon named Entei, and uh, I can just go straight into Entei and click Flare Blitz right now. Um, his main switch in will be Snorlax, but uh, it's not gonna appreciate a Choice Band of Flare Blitz at all. He chooses to get a T Spike up, which is fine. Um, I think I just continue to click Banded Flare Blitz until Entei dies due to recoil, because uh, that'll get 2 K'd on the switch. That'll get 2 K'd on the switch. Uh, that is not going to appreciate it after uh, two layers of spikes and uh, rocks. That will just straight die. That straight dies. So, looking like Entei can kind of eat um, his team alive right here. His entire team is Entei food. Um, anyhow, if he goes into Snorlax right here, I feel like my switch is going to be Xiao. He goes into Empoleon, though. This is not living, unless you're like, uh, um, what's the, it's not Focus Sash, it's like Focus Band, and you get like the lucky, lucky 10% chance, so Empoleon's down, so my hazards are here to stay, um, <laughs> Entei is kind of destroying this dude right now, um, if he goes out in a Snorlax, that's pretty much, uh, free setup fodder for Dewblade, and Dewblade can kind of bring it home at that point, uh, he does go out in a Snorlax, we're gonna see how much we can do to this, I'm thinking like, 35 to 40%, um, you know, because he's probably thick fat, because that's really the only ability you should be running in UU. Um, and yeah, that did 37. I'll live with that. He goes for the body slam. We'll be will be able to take me out, but uh, actually pretty impressive for Entei, considering he was able to pretty much beat two and a half members of his team. Uh, so I can just go ahead and do Blade right here, because uh, Do Blade actually beats Granable one v one, which uh, in fact makes it a really really good partner for Mints, um, because they have almost perfect types energy. Um, so I'll probably make a team around that soon. Probably when Mamo drops too. Although Mamo just destroys that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and SD right here. Because even if he goes out into this, I'm not scared at all. I can just uh, 2 it KO him with Iron Head, I think. As he does go out into a Bomb of Snow right here. Not a switch in. Um, you're going to die to Iron Head. And uh, you're not going to like it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I've adjusted the speed on a Bomb of Snow yet. Uh, or on this thing. But on my Obama Snow, rather, um, because I should be running enough for Umbreon before I Mega Evolve, so I can SD, um, and then whatever, do the, do the things, hit it before it foul plays me, that, anyway, so he goes out into Machamp right here, um, but this is not going to, uh, take kindly to any move that I'm gonna throw at it, so I'm just gonna Iron Head as he knocks off, uh, which will not kill me, and, um, very, very nice for me, because I do end up critting him, but, um, he can say that that crit mattered, but it really didn't, because 
after Iron Head plus Hail Damage plus Sneak, he would die anyway. So he does go ahead and get the Intimidate off right here. I am just going to fire off an Iron Head in case he tries to T-Wave or whatever because um, I'm feeling pretty confident in my ability to dodge a full para. But he is, in fact, Earthquake, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, either way, I'm going to Lisk and clicking Volt Switch because it really prompts him to... Um, earthquake right here and so it's a pretty free switch in to snow and uh, that did a lot nice that's a, what I wanted to see so I can go straight into snow right here uh, pick him off with the ice shard and then knock his snorlax out with the uh, that did a lot oh that was a crit that makes sense then um, so I can just pick him off with the ice shard right here knock out snorlax with the seed bomb and it's a wrap um, so I thought that was a pretty good showcase of probably one of my favorite teams. Um, live is not over, by the way. We're going to grab another one. And Hyper Offense is really fun because you can fit more games in a single live. And, you know, Hyper Offense is probably the play style that I'm best at. So, uh, there, so there it is. Um, I will, will more than likely outspeed this thing, which I do. So that's a good game. Nice 14 turn game. That's that's what I like to see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab another one. I get the Linamar. <laughs> Say hi to... You too. Um, Linda's a pretty cool guy. Hit him on the ladder a few times. We play a couple times in tournaments. So, um, what's up, you dude? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lead uh, with Fory right here because I feel like I actually have a pretty good matchup. No way. Oh, wow. Um, I'm, that's actually kind of impressive because I tilted a lot. I'm not actually sure where I am on the ladder. Um, but yeah, Linda's a really, really good player. So, this will be a great match. Um, well, good luck. Um, so yeah, amazing, amazing opportunity here to play Lind. Um, I'd imagine he's going to lead with Entei. Um, I feel like he's banded just based off the complexion of his team, because he doesn't really need the added special bulk, and he takes on Sceptile fine anyway. Um, Lind loves using Mega Pidgeot, which is kind of an issue, because I have zero, like, zero switch-ins to it on this team. Other than Lisk, which doesn't really count. Um, the, I built this team a long time ago before Mega Pidgeot was really as prominent as it is now. Either that or I was just unaware of how good it was. Um, no, at the time I, I built it during the uh, RU Suspect, where they were suspecting Pidgeot. So it hadn't gained a lot of U, U, U usage yet. Anyway, yeah, he does end up leading with uh, this. So hopefully your boy can dodge a burn right here. Um, I am going to go ahead and get my rocks up. I seriously considered just going for spikes. Um, so no burn. Can we see no burn? Off to, off to an amazing start. <laughs> um, either way, it's okay. Because what I can do is probably just go into Lisk. Because he, I can, I can almost guarantee he's not Scarf. Nobody runs Scarf. Um, so I'm just going to hit him with the Volt Switch right here. If he's Scarf, that's horrible, because this thing does really well against his team. Um, but I can just Volt Switch, uh, scout whether he's AV or whether he is uh, banded based off the damage, and then uh, pivot into the according, or pivot, pivot accordingly, rather. Um, I'd imagine we may see Don Fan right here, uh, which, actually no. He'll probably just go into a uh, Chestnut as a good middle ground, because it's more than likely I'm going to click Volt Switch, but he doesn't want to get too KO'd with Hyper Voice on the Switch or knocked out by Hyper Voice plus Grass Knot, so... Because he will want to get these rocks out of here. So we'll see what he decides to do right here. Um, that is AV. Sick. Um, so I think right here I'm just going to go into my own Entei, because Entei is actually super nice against his team. Let's hope he doesn't Stone Edge. He just goes for the Sacred Fire and gets the crit. Nice! Um, so I'm clicking E speed right here because I don't really want to play around with uh, I don't really want to play around with uh, getting actually is he AV is he really I feel like he is because that did not do anything I think that does like 60% uh, Heliolisk uh, life orb versus Entei we're gonna go assault vest um, what if he's zero spadef um, volt switch he's banded rip um, so he's locked into Sacred Fire right here. I can just probably donk him with an E-Speed. Um, and, and I'm and i fine risking Dewblade early if he does go into a Dawn fan. But he goes into Revival Jam, which is uh, the Reuniclus. I'm not really too scared by this thing, to be completely honest with you. Because uh, I do have Dewblade. And even if he does choose to Shadow Ball, that's fine. Because he 
um, is either Focus Blast or uh, Shadow Ball. Um, I, I'd imagine we'll see him double right here if he is a... He'll double right here if he is a Focus Blast. Because what these things do is they're like the Calm Mind Recover, Psy Shock, and then Coverage Move. Um, and seeing as he has ways to beat common ghost types, I'd imagine he's Focus Blast. He does make a double right here. Um, okay, so good to know. Um, I'm going to go straight out into Heliolisk. Oh, what? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Entei. Um, reason I'm going to go to Entei is because I do actually really need Entei. Um, and he's going for rocks. So if I, I once I get it in before rocks, that's super helpful. Because then I get to fire off a really strong Choice Banded Flare Blitz right here. And uh, if he goes into Dawn Fan, it'll work out for me. Um, because his options are either Sack This... Or, like, he basically has to choose his fodder right here. Um, because Don Fan, after two Flare Blitzes, I will go down to Recoil. Meaning he can't spin versus me, which is really nice. Um, so I feel like I'm in a really good position right here. But, you know, we'll see. I have been mistaken before. Um, as he does go into Reuniclus right here to get two-hit KO'd by the Holy Inte. Kind of glad, like, actually... He made a good play right there, sacking that, because if there's anything he doesn't need, it's this. <laughs> so, um, you know, good play on his part, as per the huge. Ah, I, I don't die, so I can see what he goes out into. Um, I'd imagine he'll go Pidgeot right here, get his Mega Evolution off, and just fire off a Hurricane, because your boy has zero switch-ins. Um, although, the thing stopping me from spamming High Jump Kick is gone. Um, so that is always nice. I'm just going to click Flare Blitz, because if... Like, for some odd reason, he's, like, zero speed. <laughs> no such luck. Um, so I think right here I can just go into Shao. As long as he's not, like, Christos Protect Mega, Mega Pidgeot set. Um, are you Protect? Yes, no. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what he says. Um, I feel like he is, but we're clicking High Jump Kick anyway. Um, ah, nice. Okay, Chestnut, is this going to get to it KO'd, please? Not quite to it KO'd, um, he is Helmet, which, you know, like, it's not great for me, but I suppose there's worse items for him to be. Uh, Dewblade is my perfect middle ground right here, um, because, like, I could go into Snow, but that's kind of risky, because Snow actually really helps me late game. Um, oh, I should have gone into, uh, the other thing right there. Um, ah, he goes for the Drain Punch, got him. Um, I was gonna go to Heliolisk right there, um, but I guess it ends up working out. So, I'd imagine we're gonna see Lead Seed right here. Uh, so I'm going to pivot out into Heliolisk because I kind of want to Iron Head right there if he just double drain punches. Good play. Um, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Because um, what I was trying to do is get in there on the lead sheet and threaten him out with a Hyper Voice, but it just doesn't work out that way. I think I got an SD right here because my only way to win is to break this down. Um, and I'm going to Iron Head right here. Um, maybe a questionable play, because if he has spiky shield, then I lose out on the opportunity to, opportunity to get to plus four, but, um, looks like he doesn't, so, but Dewblade is going to go down pretty fast, uh, I have to SD again, that's so lame, um, if he's, okay, he, he's not feeling that real, um, I'm clicking Iron Head right here, because I get a kill, then, uh, I can sneak Entei if it wants to come in, which, no, he's not going to do that. He's just going to go straight in and make a Pidgeot, because that is his best play. He could also go out, oh, he, now he reveals, oh, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for the Iron Head right here. His best play is actually to switch out, um, and just sack Entei. I feel like that's what he's going to, he may actually do that. That would be the play, because then I just lose, unless I, like, crit him with high jump kick or something but he stays in that's helpful for me as that doesn't it didn't it, that thing does not die ever um 50 percent let's see okay i have to ice shard right here that's that's lame i wanted to set up but not gonna happen um shouts yeah he i think he's got me right here um unless he's just like very or not very bulky av at all um yeah because Bandit E-Speed will take out Xiao from this range. Um, so, you know, I thought I played Valiantly, but uh, it's just it's just not in the cards, I guess. Because um, that does have enough HP to come back in. And uh, after all these spikes and stuff. You know, very good game. Um, looks like you won. Grats on 
number one. Um, so, you know, Lindemar's a very good player. Um, clearly a better player than I am, uh, without a doubt. Um, wait, it's not, it's not even over yet. Um, I think you clean up, but we'll see. All right. Um, I'm going to go for the EQ right here because it is my best play, uh, without a doubt. Um, as long as he doesn't burn me with Scald, I think I can knock him out with EQ plus EQ. So, uh, EQ <laughs> sounds like a bad math problem. <laughs> EQ plus EQ. Um, anyway, uh, he goes for the Scald. He does not get the burn, which is very nice for me. Um, I don't... Yeah, I shard is four times resisted. I am not killing um, I'm gonna go for the seed bomb just in case he wants to try to go to Pidgeot right here, which he has zero reason to. But uh, may as well get off a stab hit as I get burned. <laughs> um, you know, uh, if I had any chance, that is about it right there. Because um, I do, I did actually need to weaken Don Fan a little bit. But you know, uh, congrats, uh, Lind, you definitely deserved it, man. Um, and you know, couldn't. Couldn't think of a better person to uh, lock up number one. Uh, he's knocking off Marth as uh, number one overall on the ladder. So, you know, congrats, man. Um, it, like, no, and right here, like, normally I'm like, oh man, could have done this, could have done that. Like, there's no shame in losing the Lind. He's super good. Um, so I'm just gonna click uh, high jump kick right here as he just takes me with the E speed. So, GG. Um, very, very good game. Um, he did it. He got he got those seven points. <laughs> um, so so let's go ahead and show it to the people. Um, if you're watching this right now, man, um, this is live 102. Oh well. Um, see you, man. Um, all right. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up. Wrap that up. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, in celebration of uh, Lynn hitting number one, um, what is the highest point on the ladder that you guys have ever gotten to? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.